An evening with the Honorable Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment is one way the Lagos Business School, a faculty of the Pan-Atlantic University, seeks to deepen public-private sector engagements. Be sure that uh, we are all here. And, uh, before we open it, before I announce it, it's a uh, virtual event uh, with the Minister Adini Adebayo setting it off with so efforts sure, and work okay, of the ministry so, so far all, under his leadership. Question. According to him, the non-oil sector contributed 92.58% to GDP in the second quarter of 2021. Also, industry and trade accounts for 40% of real GDP, indicators of a successful diversification effort. But the ministry sets on ways to improve on this to, among other things, support the micro, small and medium enterprises. MSM is formed the backbone of the private sector and contributes more than 90% of our GDP. We understand that MSMEs face a lot of challenge when they try to scale up their businesses. Thus, we establish the MSME policy to drive the growth and competitiveness of MSMEs in the country and the MSMEs innovation portal to ensure that MSMEs have wider market access. A representative of the micro, small and medium enterprises, chief executive of Kachi Company Limited, Mrs. Ketisa, is given the opportunity to share some areas of challenge and not surprisingly, availability and access to foreign exchange is on the fore. Yes, the statistics you have thrown out are commendable. However, the reality is that when a business cannot find the raw material to produce, the, the, they can't find the foreign exchange to purchase uh, the raw material to, to manufacture, to produce their products. They lay off workers, they, they shut down their uh, manufacturing uh, plants. Uh, what has my the minister, done? however, has reassuring words on the challenge. We realize that uh, a large portion of foreign exchange that this country has is from the oil, uh, oil and gas sector. And we are doing our best. We are working very hard to try and diversify our economy from earning, uh, its, uh, from earning its foreign exchange from, only from that sector. We are trying to diversify the sector. And I have been in discussions with many manufacturers. Uh, we are looking at the various areas, especially the areas where we have cooperative advantage. For instance, one area, one such area is in the area of cement. And I have been in discussions with uh, manufacturers in that sector to see how they can ramp up their exports of cement. The meeting also elaborated on challenges and possible solution to export certification and maximizing the AFCFTA with the 1.27 billion market potential it brings. Okay. In John Mekwa, Channels Television News.